Hi, welcome to Buzz, Cincinnati's underground business voice. I'm here with Michael Sutter at Budget Business Computers. Um, now, I think I know what budget business computers do, but you, you know, you throw you throw you in a box. People make assumptions about what you're all about. What is it you really do? We really help companies save money on buying pre-owned and off-lease IT assets versus buying new. And it also helps the economy today as far as you know, everybody's trying to go green as far as you know, keeping uh, assets in cycle and, yeah. not, not, and not disposing and throwing them in a dumpster. And, then, and so. this, this is really becoming, I mean, a, a really an unknown resource that a lot of businesses mm -hmm. need to take advantage of. Right. Why is that? Well, I mean, you know, the biggest thing too, whether the economy is good or whether the economy is bad, Tony, it's really the, the, the challenge really is, is that I'm looking to help companies try to stretch their IT dollars by purchasing business class pre-owned equipment. Yeah. You know, not just lap, you know, laptops, it can be desktops, it can be printers, routers, Cisco switches, anything really. And, and, and really, the, I think one of the things that people really don't understand is like a, a PC that's two years old that's used in an office mm -hmm. environment, mm -hmm. I mean, they don't need the latest and greatest right, stuff. They right, they don't. Right. You know, and, and so just understanding how that, what, what licenses may be on that machine could be, does that affect kind of what? No, no, no. no, no. Okay. No, nor normally it's the customer that dictates and says what, what the software they're running and what they're looking to use. So the question I always ask my customer is, um, you know, what are you looking to do? What applications are you running? What, what hardware requirements are you looking for? And then you customize yeah. their mm -hmm. solutions based yeah, absolutely. on that. Absolutely, absolutely. How, how, how does this save them money? I mean, what, is it, what are they looking at, like, uh, across the board? If, they're, if they went out and they just went to Office Depot and they, mm -hmm. they or, or, you know, or CopUSA, or, and they did the, you know, they, they got the corporate discount, what... What's the, the delta in working right. with somebody like you? Well, two things. I mean, you know, typically the retailers out there are selling consumer class. Okay. I'm selling business class, which there's a, t a totally different niche. Totally different game. Where, you know, the equipment that I sell is made to run, you know, 12, 14 hour days. I mean, it's made to take a much more of a beating. Okay. And a lot of the corporate 500 companies like U.S. Bank and Kroger's and Eli Lilly, all those guys from P&G, they use business class equipment. Okay. So that's one side of it. So I'm selling a totally different line of product than what they're selling. Okay. And the second part of it is, is really that what's happening um, is, is that uh, I save people anywhere between 30 to 50 percent. You know, it's a round number, but it's hard to actually, you know, throw a dart no, to exactly yeah, yeah. the percentages. But, you know, like typically I found that like when you, we work with, so, you know, like when you work with software vendors mm -hmm. and they're selling their clients, you know, so, medical billing software. Mm -hmm. Because my target typically is, you know, a lot of behavioral health care centers and sure. nonprofits. Mm -hmm. So they're looking to buy certain software where the software manufacturers say, well, you got to buy new computers. Mm -hmm. And I look at them and say, well, you know what? You should find out what your, you know, what, what hardware requirements that you're looking for. Right. And then buy from that and, and then look, you know, two because, years later. Because typically that, that software app was built, you know, over the last three years. Yeah. It, and the requirements, they're really three years old, right? Yeah. yeah. And so, so saying that they need to buy new equipment is really just taking care of their headache from a software standpoint, not really educating the right. consumer on what's the best way. It's sort of a mindset that people think, you know, you have to buy new. Because you, know, you, you got a stigma yeah. you got to fight through, right? right? And, yeah, yeah, and so, absolutely. So 30 to 50% is a good way to get people past that stigma, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So are, are you, do you, uh, when you enter, is it the CFO, is it the operations guy, a CTO, it's the CIO? Mm -hmm. what, what does the title sound that you want to, you're really trying to get into? Typically CFO and typically purchasing or MIS person. Okay. You know, they're the ones who drive the dollars and they see where the cost savings are. And, and size of business is? You know, I don't really rate. I typically say um, businesses that have, you know, probably 20 more employees. Okay. Because then you they've know. got enough yeah. hardware and desktops yeah. that you can make a difference, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. So is it um, uh, your points of influence? Have they been software as a service company, web app? Who's, who's, who's bringing you the type of business that you want to? What, what are you looking to build in your network? Well, IT companies are good strategic partners for me sure. and also copy machine companies, okay. uh, con computer consultants. So, 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 so network admin, yeah. anybody that's supporting, managed yeah. services is a good if, I could, if you If you were a, if you were an IT company and you sold managed services or data backup, I might say to you, Tony, um, maybe talk to your client about, instead of selling them new equipment, you could save them money on say, you know, selling them business class pre-owned equipment. Mm -hmm and look at it that way, and then I can either sell the hardware to you or you, or I can sell the hardware to your customer. So I'm not involved in, in really you know, maintaining the hardware from that perspective, but I'll support it if I sell how it does to you. Someone, how does someone start the engagement with you? Do you, you come in and say, hey, look at here, do you com do a comparison? Yes, I and, can. And is that, the, is that the easiest way for them to start to realize what, what they're spending that they don't have to be? I try to look at what they're buying today and look at what they could be buying and how much more they can stretch their IT dollars, and that's always what I say. Yeah. You know, and plus the going green, 
thing. I, I love it because you know we also do computer disposal. Mm -hmm. We'll take back old equipment and dispose of dispose of it and, in an environmentally, you know, EPA and that's proper huge. way. Yeah, and uh, that is and huge. data too, and data it, because as well. if you're if you're if you're uh, you know a, a lily or a roche mm -hmm. or something like that, you've got you've got oh, yeah. you've got <laughs> hundreds of machines that got to go somewhere. Yeah, and to be able to so you're looking for the long term relationship. Absolutely. So I don't want short term. How'd you get into this? I've been doing this for about 16 years. I mean, I worked with U.S. Bank, I worked with Kroger's, I worked with uh, Siemens, and I helped them do you know all their asset recovery from you know picking the equipment up from the facility from 3,000 locations and doing the data eradication to you know asset tag removal to disposal to remarketing and resell of it. Wow. Yeah. So it's fun. It's actually a really fun business. I love yeah, it. yeah, because you're it, it's it's always coming and going. You got it going on both ends, right? Uh, and I, mean, I buy back old equipment from customers too. Who have who have who have equipment that think. There's no value to it, and if I look at it, maybe there's value to it. If I could put cash in their pocket, that's another thing. So, you know, the other question you asked me is, as far as partners, to make it quick, um, a lot of times it may go to other people who are calling on customers and say, you know, if you ask your customer, you know, if they have surplus equipment, mm -hmm. you know, sitting in their warehouse collecting, you know, they're paying insurance, they're paying Dust, warehouse costs, that, yeah. you know, if I could buy it from you and put money back in your customers' hands, they may spend it with you as so a vendor. If you're in technology, if you're yep. in that game, get yep. to know Michael. Everybody needs a resource like this, right? Yep, absolutely. All right, brother. Thank You've been you. Blessed. Thank yes. you.